Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to take a look at brick buttons. So, brick buttons are one of the inputs into the EV3. Um, obviously, because it's connected directly to the EV3, you can't remove the buttons. Uh, and once again, the three blocks are weight, loop, and switch of the flow control. And we have the brick buttons, so we'll pull that one out. So when in measure mode, all it does is displays the um, what the brick buttons are reading, all of them. And in uh, compare mode, it's really similar to compare mode in this, so we'll do them both at the same time. Uh, basically what it does for the sensor one is you can select multiple buttons at the same time and this means that if any of these buttons are pressed then the case will be true so right here the true false output if any of these buttons are pressed because pressed be because um, the state is currently set to pressed then the output will be true same thing here you can select uh, the same ones we have two, four, and five selected. Or you could have release. So if any of those buttons are released, then uh, it'll be true. And basically these are the same blocks, except instead of having a true output, it just moves on uh, for the weight block. The weight block just moves on instead of outputting a true, true false uh, statement. Uh, both blocks have an output for the current um, button uh, state. And we'll pull out a loop. So the loop is once again using a compare statement. Uh, one thing that's worth noting is um, you can see these double semicircles. Um, if you remember with the wires lesson, that means it's an array, specifically a numeric array which means it can hold multiple numbers at the same time which basically allows you to do the select multiple um, cases where it'll uh, complete the action so in this case if it's true so when when one of these happens if one two or five so uh, left center or down is pressed because here or let's make it bumped if it's bumped so pressed in and then um, released then it'll exit the loop and if we go to the switch we have the measure option so the measure option will allow multiple cases as you can see and to change the case you just click on the the uh, logo and you can choose whatever Actually, we already have a left, so let's make it a center. So, basically, it's the same as any other switch. If uh, it's if the left button's pressed, it'll run this. If the center button's or if nothing's pressed, uh, it'll run this. And if the center button's pressed, it'll run this. And if we go to the compare mode, it's a true or false again so what you'll do is you can select multiple buttons if any of the buttons are true or if any of the buttons are um, meet the uh, requirement of whatever the state that you set then it'll be true and it'll run this part if not it'll run this part so let's just say if it's center and right if center and right if either of them are pressed then it'll run true. If not, it'll run false. And that's pretty much it for center, for brick buttons. Uh, the applications are kind of uh, specific to um, kind of user interface within the brick. If you want to have an interface with um, one of your programs, you can do that. Uh, it's kind of up to your creativity, though. Uh, I can't really give it an example because it wouldn't be applicable to all the teams that are watching this. So let your imagination run wild and come up with different ways that you can use these brick buttons.